With us now, the Washington Bureau Chief of the Reuters News Agency, Simon Denyer. Simon, hello again. Thank you. Hey, Shep. Good to see you again. I mean, we know from the CIA they're working against us. They're trying to kill our own soldiers, and we're giving them weapons? That just sounds dumb. Help me understand this. It's hard to understand, to be honest with you. I mean, the Secretary of State said there was no stronger part partner in the fight against Islamic Please. extremists than Pakistan. I mean, with friends like that, well, you know, uh, the, the, the thing is, it is a tough thing. They do need Pakistan's support, the military support, in going after people in northwest Pakistan, the bad guys in northwest Pakistan. But, you know, there's been years of credible evidence that the Pakistanis are supporting the Taliban. There have been fresh reports this week that Pakistan, and, and by Pakistan I mean the military intelligence, were behind the attacks in India, the Mumbai attacks, the hotel attacks, which I'm sure you remember. You know, that's a big deal. And, and so with the one hand, the Pakistani army is receiving this aid, but within, with the other hand, there is credible evidence cited over and over again by American intelligence and administration officials that Pakistan is playing a double game. So, you know, where's this money? What's this money going to achieve? It's hard to say. Sure, there's going to be military action in, the, in, in northwest Pakistan. Um, civilians will be driven from their homes, but will we actually be building anything for the future? Uh, I, I think civilian aid, trade, these are the kind of things we should be thinking about a lot more in terms of Pakistan. Doesn't the history of the region and our involvement therein tell us a little bit about what happens when you send, when you send weapons and ammunition and even training to the enemy, uh, uh, the enemy of your enemy? I mean, our history is long and it's pathetic. Right, the history of supporting the jihadis basically to fight a proxy war in Afghanistan and those people being the foundation for Al-Qaeda. So yeah, absolutely, our history shows you there's some very difficult, some short-term games which actually lead to long-term negative consequences. You know, if you, if you see this from, an, and I spent a long time in India too as well as in Pakistan, if you see this from an Indian perspective, they see the Pakistani military as as an enemy for, of Pakistani democracy, always undermining Pakistani democracy, and they see it as a sponsor of Islamic extremism. So by, by strengthening the Pakistani military, you're actually strengthening something which is at the core of Pakistan's problems. Now that's, that's an Indian analysis, but it's also an analysis that's shared by many people here. So short-term gains, perhaps, you do have to sign, find a way to support Pakistan's battle against the extremists. but. Is channeling money through the military the best way to do it? You know, it's not just about bombing people, driving them from their homes. It's about governance, it's about the private sector, it's about trade, it's about development. That's the only way you're going to get sustainable gains in the tribal areas, in these kind of very unruly parts of Pakistan. You mentioned the Indian analysis, and is it part of the thinking there that what you don't want to happen is for the military to at some point overthrow the government and then be in charge of the big weapon? Right. I mean, the, you know, the military, frankly, the military is in charge of the big weapon as it is. But, you know, there is creeping kind of reports again of creeping Islamic extremism in yeah. parts of the military. And so that's always been there and that's always been a concern. Frankly, you know, the concerns about Pakistani's nuclear capabilities have been there. I'm not sure how big a concern they are. They are it's a big stakes thing, but I'm not sure how much to worry about that. But, you know, the point is the Pakistani military are a, are a very unknown quantity. They are playing a long game here. They think the Americans are going to leave Afghanistan. They continue, you know, as we keep hearing, they continue to keep sheltering the Taliban and potentially supporting the Taliban because they see them as a long-term, a longer-term ally in the region. So, you know, this is a tough region to crack. There aren't easy answers. I won't pretend there are easy answers, but, uh, but no stronger partner than the military, uh, that's, that's a tough one. If that's the best we can do for strong partners, it's time to fold up the tent. Simon Denyer, it's great to see you. Thank you. Great to be here, Chef. Thanks a lot.